My name is Paul Dansbach, and welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. In this section of Training Minutes, we're going to look at a wood frame building. This building is currently under renovation. The original building is a balloon frame construction. The addition being added to the rear of the structure is platform frame. We will have the opportunity to view and understand the fire spread potential of platform frame versus balloon frame wood frame construction. Balloon frame construction is construction in which the exterior walls and interior walls run vertically from the basement past the first floor to the second floor and potentially to the attic with unfire stopped voids. A stud bay is created by the space between the two wall studs, the exterior sheathing, and what would be the back of the interior finish. That space is open to the basement in balloon frame construction. Any fire in the basement will extend vertically through the wall, up past the ledger board, into the second floor, and potentially up into the attic. We also have the opportunity for horizontal fire extension. There is no fire stopping between the stud bay and the joist bay. The joist bay is the space created between the two floor joists. There is an opening between the end of the joist bay into the vertical stud bay. We're looking at an interior partition. It's an interior bearing partition. The partition is balloon framed. It's opened down into the basement. Therefore, any fire that occurs in the basement will extend through this combustible void space in the stud bay, the space between the studs. Vertically, it will run up into the space created by the floor joists. This partition does not extend beyond the first floor, so the fire extension in this bay will be limited from the basement to the first floor. However, once the fire reaches the joist bay, the space created by two floor joists, the fire is going to run horizontally. In the case of this structure, the fire will run to the B wall and the D wall. It will run to those exterior walls, turn vertical again in the balloon framing, and head towards the attic. Another fire extension potential with balloon frame construction is when the fire starts on a floor of the dwelling as a content fire. If the fire extends beyond the interior finish, for example, in this building, the original construction was wood lath with plaster as the interior finish. Another interior finish could also be drywall. Should the fire get beyond the interior finish, the fire will extend into the joist bay. Again, the space created by the wood joists. The fire will run horizontally in the joists and will have the same fire extension potential when the fire reaches the B and D walls of this building where it will turn vertical and run to the second floor and the attic through the exterior walls of balloon frame construction. We are in the addition to the structure. The addition is being constructed of platform frame. Platform frame construction is one in which the foundation is constructed and then the first floor is constructed on top of the foundation. The first floor extends to the exterior wall of the structure. Then one story of wood frame studs is constructed on top of the floor. That construction method uses a two by four plate on top of the floor system. That two by four plate and this method of construction builds in the fire stopping. It is referred to as inherent fire stopping as it is built into the structure as the building is constructed. The built in fire protection, that two by four plate at the bottom, prevents any vertical fire extension from the basement up into this wall. Additionally, as we run vertically in the wall, we get to the top of the wall before our floor joists and we see another two by four a double two by four top plate that also eliminates the potential for vertical fire extension story to story within this building. In balloon frame construction, we pointed out the possibility of fire extension when the fire starts as a room and content fire and pierces beyond the interior finish of the building, extending into the joist bay. With platform frame construction, we do not have that potential. Should the fire start as a room and content fire, get past the drywall on the ceiling and run horizontally to the side wall in the joist bay, the fire will not extend vertically to the second floor as the plywood floor decking to the floor above is installed. Directly above that plywood floor decking is a two by four plate. That construction method eliminates the fire extension possibility between the joist bay 
and the exterior wall or an interior wall partition to the floor above. An area of concern in both platform frame and balloon frame construction is an area in where utilities are run vertically in the walls. Any vertical utility run poses the potential for vertical fire extension. Oftentimes, contractors will cut fire stopping away, will cut the platform frame plates, two by four plates, away to run plumbing, ductwork, and other associated utility lines. In our example here, a drain waste and vent line, a plumbing line, is installed. It runs from the basement, it runs vertically through the wall space, up, passes into the second floor. This drain waste and vent line is an avenue that has to be checked for vertical fire extension. That vent line, where it pierces through the roof, can be used as an indicator to determine where the vent line runs in the structure. Firefighters must aggressively check for vertical fire extension where that drain waste and vent line runs vertically through the building. Vertical fire extension is of paramount concern to firefighters. Understanding the difference between platform frame and balloon frame construction will help us determine the potential for vertical fire extension in a wood frame building. Thank you for watching this session of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.